Hi guys, I'm going for a walk and I am a little nervous about it because I have re-sprained my ankle. I don't know when this injury is going to go away. It seems to be a recurring one and oh well, that's okay. So I've put on a brace and I have, I'm very, very lightweight today. So I have a tiny little backpack. I have on running shoes and the only other thing i have so sorry i'm not using a gimbal so sometimes things might get a little shaky but i have my cell phone in my pocket so i'm going to go for a walk because there are beautiful beautiful blossoms out now springtime blossoms and i would like to capture maybe a couple of them but you may have noticed also that i do not have a camera on me it is not in this little bag it is the one that I'm using for videos. So the Canon M50, I'm going to try for photography. Happy that it has a raw mode. So it's on raw mode and aperture priority. Oh, getting messages. And I am just going to use this camera. So I'm not gonna be able to do a whole lot of uh, extra, you know, filming of me taking the pictures, but let's see what we can find. Okay. I think I may not torture you with a whole lot of shaky footage, so I'm probably going to save the filming for when I get to where I'm going. And the first place I think I'm going is right across the street to a lilac bush. So I've got these gorgeous lilacs behind me. They are just beautiful. I love lilacs. I love the smell. And uh, so I'm able to zoom in and out with this lens. It's a 15 to 45, it's a crop sensor lens. The nice thing about this camera is that to focus on something, I just touch the screen. My Sony A992 does not have that feature, so I have to move like the focus spot around and stuff if I'd like to do that. This one, I just touch the screen where I want to go. So I'm going with a low uh, aperture, so F4, and it's giving me like, 1 640th of a second. I'm on ISO 200 and it's just gorgeous. Unfortunately, they're a little too tall for me to smell them, but I might just have to pull them down. <laughs> So I'm trying to get these flowers here and it is way too breezy. These guys are light and they are blowing in the wind. Now the problem isn't the speed, the shutter speed. I can get that. I just can't get them to stand still long enough for me to focus correctly because each time it moves, the focus shifts. So <laughs> I've, uh, I've made a couple attempts. I really like the way the sun is coming through the branches and I kind of want to include that in the image, but uh, it's, it might be a real challenge. magnolia tree i finally found one it is here above me it's absolutely gorgeous the only problem is 
what is the problem? <laughs> uh, the breeze, I guess. No, there's no problem. How could there be a problem? It's absolutely gorgeous. It smells incredible. Um, the, the petals have already started to fall, so that's a bit of a challenge, um, but not one that I am unwilling to tackle. So <laughs> I've increased my ISO so that I can get an image of the flower with the sun behind it. Just seems to be the, the mood that I'm in today to get an image of the flower with the sun behind it without the flower being too uh, dark. So I've gone up to plus one of an exposure value and I've increased the ISO so that I've got enough uh, shutter speed and it's just beautiful. We'll see how that turns out. It's also harder to tell on this camera because of the smaller screen than my uh, A992. It's harder to tell how successful I have been in the actual uh, photo until after I get to the computer. So we'll see. And I'm hoping that some of them will turn out. <laughs> I'm also not taking as many images as I normally would because most of these trees are on people's yards. So I don't want to stand <laughs> in front of their houses with a camera pointed at them. But uh, most people don't seem to mind if you stop and just respectfully take some uh, images. And uh, I'm making sure that I'm kind of pointing up so that they don't feel like I am being disrespectful of their privacy. So I'm just going to keep walking and enjoying this absolutely gorgeous weather. Mm. So here I am again, I found another tree. <laughs> uh, I hope these neighbors don't mind. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, huge pink magnolias, like absolutely beautiful. I found a few, I'm doing the sun hole, sun behind it thing again, but I found a few like this that I am just, without being able to see, I'm holding the camera above and just shooting down and seeing if maybe I could get one like that because the only ones that are lower than me are on the ground and they are not flowers uh, put together anymore. And the other ones that are in the middle of the tree, which are absolutely gorgeous, I'm not gonna walk into their, uh, into their yard. So, <laughs> stunning. this beautiful white blossom tree. It's just beautiful. I love white images that are almost all white. They just look so soft and delicate, especially if you have the sun on them. And so I'm just playing around with that. And oh, they're just, they're gorgeous. I wish I could take uh, some of the branches and make a wreath for my, uh, for my hat. <laughs> or maybe like a necklace. Anyway, just gorgeous. I'm going to go with uh, ISO 6.7, sorry, aperture 6.7, f6.7, ISO 200 as I have been and the shutter speed is pretty quick. Um, again, we'll see how this camera handles it. Just stay. Now I see on the other side of this fence a field of dandelions and uh, I just need to get over there.
All right. <laughs> it is fantastic out. I would say that this has been a successful walk and I have really enjoyed myself. Now I'm gonna head back and see if any of the pictures have turned out and um, it should be a lot of fun. I kind of like that the Canon M50 is very, very small. It's a somewhat older mirrorless now, older meaning a couple of years, but not that old. And uh, it is, it's got a raw mode. It is very compact. It's great. So uh, I really like this camera. I like the option of traveling light. When I went to Barbados with my family, I didn't want our trip to be a photography trip. I wanted to enjoy the time that we had together. And I brought just this camera and it was really nice. And I got some photos that really captured, uh, <laughs> really captured the time that we spent there together. So, um, uh, Thanks for coming along with me. I hope that you've had a fabulous day like me. I know it's been a frustrating time. Uh, hopefully not for all of you. I've heard that some of you are getting some more freedoms and joys and things back in your life that it's feeling a little more regular. It is not here. We are still under a very strict lockdown and uh, I'm allowed to go out for exercise. So another good reason to have a small camera and just be able to walk. So I hope that you're all doing really, really well. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would. We'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.